again. I'm gonna find well you do. Still getting over my illness, but there's no rest for the weary. It's time to take on that new MS data. New MS data. Data. Data, data. Data, data. I'm sure by now you've all heard about the Federation's V project. The enemy has upped the ante by introducing mobile suits of their own. To assist you, we've now added Federation mobile suit data to the training simulator based on past battles. From this point on, your training will focus mainly on mobile suit combat. September 18. During a mission on Side 7 by Lieutenant Commander Char's team, two Zaku units were lost in battle to a new Federation MS. This was the first MS battle in history. This program analyzes, blah, 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 analyzes that data to simulate battle with enemy MS. So let's destroy them. But first, we have a new member of our team. It is... Pio Swigard. Bayo Swigard, he, much like Austin, wields a Zaku-1. Unlike him, he's still using the prototype. Well, he just got here, and they uh, decided to just throw the old Zaku-1s on the shelf to him, so they also handed him the machine gun. I'm not using him, because of all these reasons. When he eventually upgrades, he might crack the spot. Hitner spot, he might crack it. What does Roberto have? What does Roberto have here? Oh! A Zaka 2 with a bazooka. How novel. What is he having in his support slot? He finally can have uh, a lot of things. Whoops. Please. So we have the upgraded uh, tank dude coin, which gives you four of them. Now the DOP is one of a series of support. Um, gears. So you call in some DOPs, which are these little fighter planes as pictured. They fly in, they shoot things. Cool. Somewhat unique, in a sense. Uh, and we'll do that, sure. And we'll do that, sure. Now what does Swaggered brings us... bring, bring us... armor, and his own support with tanks. Uh, armor's a little better at this point. He will never be seen again. Oh, but we'll talk to him in the advice section. He'll probably be like, I'm just glad to be here, you know, I'm, I'm really... I've heard good things about the unit, and then everyone goes, because you're not seeing the front line. All right. So this is a squad. We're going up against the latest and greatest in Federation technology. Let's see the roots. Hmm? Uh, I believe what you're supposed to do, and I'm not going to do, is surround the MS, hit him in the back, but it's fine. All right. It's a fair, calm noonday with only 35% particles. Let's get in there. Zaku's! Midnight Fenrir! Roll out! Commence simulation. Roger. Roger! I'm a little scared. Just a little. In a one on one, we will not win. That won't stop me from trying. Uh oh. Green team. There it is. Is that a Gundam? Yep. Yep. Yes. <laughs> that certainly was a Gundam. 
bigger, faster, stronger too. Uh oh. Red team. Careful, red team. They they've got your scent, red team! I got to hurry. Red team! Did they win? It's injured. Boys, get him! You want some of this? No effect. Damn you! End simulation. What's going on? Just look at these simulation results. Are you trying to make me look bad? This now is a matter of national she security. I'm not sure I can forgive you. The Gundam largely doesn't take damage until its final fight. And a Zaku 2 doing it nonetheless. Yeah, this is a very difficult thing um, to handle because, as seen, Red Team is the only team that can fight it. Uh, I suppose having, what's his face, uh, Nikki, because he has bazookas, replacing Hepner with Nikki is the better play at this time just because he can do damage. But, uh, and having green team, I guess, wrap around, not go the default route because the gun is going to run straight into them. Uh, that is what you're supposed to do, but, um, mission accomplished. Took it down with the old heat hawk. And that's all you have to do. Desert Fenrir. From midnight to desert, but traveling to Asia. Our original plan was to arrive at our destination tomorrow, but circumstances have changed. Our allies are already fighting the Federation forces in the Gobi Desert. The enemy has surrounded our forces number three supply base, and it appears we're the only ones close enough to deal with it. Our allies are in danger and need support. We cannot turn our backs on them. We will disembark and head to the supply base by way of land. Our objective is to provide backup for the defense troops and protect the base from the enemy until reinforcements arrive. First, maneuver to the rear of the enemy's offensive line and break through the least protected area so that we may link up with our allies. According to intelligence, the enemy has taken over a section of the power plant. We intend to secure the power plant and restore the base's functions. Focus on eliminating the enemy inside then leave the rest to the power plant crew. Once the station is restored, the base's functions should come back online. Once we break past the siege and restore the base's functions, destroy the enemy's command vehicle. This will break down their chain of command and hinder their supply lines. The enemy's in the desert and needs their supplies. So if we stall them out there long enough as we protect the base, they'll lose morale and have no choice but to retreat. There have been no reports so far of enemy mobile suits in the area, but there's concern over some new Federation models that have been spotted on the outskirts. This particular mobile suit carries cannons on both shoulders. I've heard that the enemy has weakened a few areas in our defense line with the long-range support of this mobile suit. There's every reason to believe that the mobile suit in question may appear in this battle, so we'll have to move on this quickly before our rival gets the upper hand. <clears throat> so they are referring to, I believe, the gun cannon. Um, I don't believe there is a mission where we straight up fight a Gundam. That's not true. Way later. But not Amaro. Not uh, the hero himself. Not uh, his squad. We're pretty much done with them. Uh, but we will be facing guys in, in mobile suits that are similar to theirs, the gun cannon, a Gundam, etc. Anyway. Our instructions, both offense and defense, are key to this mission. To only attack leaves our HQ vulnerable. 
Well, pure defense keeps us from destroying the enemy command vehicle and winning. Deciding the role of each team is important in this battle. We do have three failure conditions. Our headquarters being destroyed, the defense force being destroyed, and all of our leaders being destroyed. That is always a failure. Um, only one way to win. Killing them. Come gusty day at dusk with 62% Manovsky particles. Let's go over that information. Uh, what's... Tell me about Swagger. He's 27. Lee Swagger. A man of few words. He is adept at recon and attack. He executes his orders faithfully. Ooh. We have lost a true hero to our glorious and noble cause. But are we defeated? No! For us, this is a new beginning. Compared to the Earth Federation, the national resources of Xeon are less than one thirtieth of theirs. Despite this major difference, how is it that we've been able to fight them for so long? It is because our goal in this war is a righteous one. You all know this better than anyone. Yeah, um, what they said. The Garden Cannon. We think this is the same model as the one on the Trojan horse. It has two shoulder cannons and is adept at mid and uh, <laughs> mid and ranged combat. Adept at mid range combat. The enemy has committed significant numbers of these to the Gobi Desert, and this was the direct cause of our defense line crumbling. The enemy command vehicle lies at the first point. It's likely a small version of Big Trey, but its firepower is formidable. And about those support equipments, uh, select a target and call an attack support. Only available on mobile suits that ends in Roberto and Petty Officer Swaggart operate. Why is that? Who knows? It's just what they do. Uh, our allied mobile suit teams were drawn away to intercept enemy forces, so only the Magella attack units remain to defend the supply base now. We must defend our tanks. We know how vulnerable they are. Our uh, team! Go! Being asked to perform a miracle. But that's exactly what we need if we want to link up with our allies and hold out against the enemy. First, we should break through the weakest point of the enemy's offensive line and rendezvous with our defense troops. Once we're together, we should split up into two teams. While one team recaptures the power plant and restores the base's functions, the other team attacks the command vehicle. I know it'd be easier to fully restore the base's functions first, then move on to the command vehicle, but I can't imagine the enemy would wait around that long. What a miserable assignment. We'll have to buckle down and do it. We gotta defeat the enemy before they call on their reserve units. And definitely before they bring out the new mobile suit. I wouldn't count on reinforcements to save us. We could get our butts kicked before they reach us. We're pretty much on our own. Let's stand our ground. So two things to note. One is Roher always seems to reiterate what just went over. He takes notes. Uh, the other thing to note is the gun cannons cannons. We'll see, but the gun cannon cannons basically are a one-shot on everything except the armored Zaku ones of Austin. And Swaggered, I guess. Um, you can't shield against cannon shots, I don't believe. Or if you do, your shield gets like blown up immediately. Um, and the gun cannon has a baseline armor ra value that makes machine guns basically worthless. Um, so Roher's gonna be a little sad here. I'm gonna have to do a lot of, uh, he's going, he might be on defense, let's say. He might have to stick back. But whatever. Nikki, this is a tough mission for a kid. <sighs> I'll be okay. I've survived all the times you chewed me out in the past, so this should be a piece of cake. Uh, hey. He's got you there, Austin. You keep yelling at him for being a kid, and then he lives. Don't worry, all right? I'll be okay. The enemy is focused solely on the base. They wouldn't expect an attack from behind, so I'm pretty sure we can cause some confusion and even break through their line. Or maybe not. I'm sorry, sir. I know I shouldn't be so negative. Our allies inside the supply base are counting on us for support. It'll be fine. I'm sure things will go well. All right, Swaggered, new boy. What do you want about? I'm Lee Swaggered. Nice to meet you all. So, Lee, which unit did you come from? Sir, the African Battlefront, sir. <clears throat> How are things over there? 
Pretty awful. I see. Yep. So, uh, here's the problem with Swagger here. Uh, Roher is already the, like, I don't like to waste words kind of guy. Uh, and then Swagger comes in and he's the same guy. Alright. The only difference is Roher might actually say some long-winded, you know, explanation of something we already know. Like me. Um, and finally, let's take a little gander at the default routes. Looks like blue team's heading into the... Power plant. Okay. They want green and red teams to get to the base. To defend the, the headquarters and the uh, planes. Then red team will go and attack the enemy command vehicle, which will no doubt be defended by the gun cannon. But if anyone can handle it, I'm sure red team can. However, blue team is not going to go here and then stop. That's silly. So let's figure out how they're going to help anything after this. And so after you take care of this, you're going to go to here. Here. I guess you just go straight into the base. Da -da -da. Blue team will, I guess, follow red team at that point. Although red team's probably already done at that point. Unless I hold red team, I could always just hold the red team. Oh! Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I just realized there's an exit to the left there. Wouldn't it be better if they went out that way? Right? They just go out here. And then a little bit of this. And a bada bingo. Hmm. All right, and uh, a green team. Green team. I don't think you hold this position because what are you defending this from? Not oh, that door. I see. Fine, because red team would clear things out as they move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. All right. Enough deliberation. Commence operation. Wait. I'll tell you what I don't need right now. Nice school. Uh, there. I want to throw smoke grenades at the gun cannon. I'm going to chop it in the back with my axe. That's the plan. What do you even have? Also grenades. Oh, stun grenades? I like that. If they had stun grenades, and the AI knew how to use them, uh, they'd be a lot better than at taking out that Gundam Blast mission. I kind of want to bring Roberto instead of Abner. That's not happening. Alright. Here we go. Midnight Fenrir, howl! Oh. All units, proceed. Link up with the defense troops. Approach the enemy from behind and create mass chaos. Then break through their offensive line before they can reorganize. Uh, why panic over a few mobile suits? Order the leaders of the Southern District to re-establish their chain of command, and then concentrate their attack on the mobile suit team approaching from the rear. Righto. Ready mission. Start! Once the enemy recovers from the chaos, we'll be at a disadvantage again. Try and move quickly. Oh yeah. 
Enemy tanks, spotty. Eliminating targets. It's all about moving fast and hitting hard. Nice try. Too bad all my radar forms are kind of bad. Well, here's the power plant. Did I win? How do I... It's secure, I'm sure. Join the base's defense troops. All right, proceed with the second phase. Gosh, what are our guys doing? The door. Can we go? Just let them uh, get the tanks back a little bit. Sighted. Engaging. Ugh. Enemy defense team has been wiped out. Base crews will begin restoring the power plant. Enemy reinforcements Tommy? spotted. Looks like it's their mobile suit team. Mobile suit in question? I've checked the data from intelligence. There's no mistaking it. That's a problem. All teams, hurry and destroy the command vehicle. This is the unit that hit our main troops hard. We may not have a chance against them with our battle strength. We've got no choice but to break the enemy's chain of command and hope they give up fighting. Lieutenant Agar here. Gun cannon team commencing attack. Leave it to us. Now that we're here, those Zeon Stooges are in serious trouble. Here we go! Agar's like if Amuro had like an attitude problem, you know? Bang. Reloading. I sure hope Red Team can handle this. Uh, Red Team? Uh. Power plant is up. Functions of the base facilities will be restored shortly. Uh, Red, Red, Red Team? Uh oh. <laughs> Red Team got wiped out. Maybe I should have been uh, controlling them. No matter. It's up to Blue Team. That's why we're here! Blue team! I'm under attack! How <laughs> dare Guess it's up to me. Equals A! Ew! Uh. Uh. All right, green team, it's um, up to you. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> Should I just restart that? Uh, now this went according to plan. I mean, the base defense troops can defend themselves. That is. That is possible. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boys. We've got one chance at this. They go around the corner and we bop them. Alright? And we bop them. Do you understand me? Go. Get him, boys. Retreat! I'm telling you, retreat! Um...
Alright, see you later. The base defenses will handle this. Alright, Hepner. Time to be the hero you were always dreamed of being. It's up to you now. Quite literally. Up to you. <clears throat> this just goes to show you that, yes, the gun cannon is that strong. I didn't handle things at all. Oh! At all very well at all. This is a firing line. There's a firing line of tanks. However, what I did was not inherently wrong. I just didn't handle it well. Red team needed to do their job a little better. That's all. All units proceed. Link up with the defense troops. Approach the enemy from behind and create ma Yes. Yes, sir. LC, sir. I will not fail this time. Once the enemy recovers from the chaos, we'll be at a disadvantage again. Try and move quickly. This time, I'm serious. Join the base's defense troops. All right, proceed with the second phase. <laughs> nice try. <clears throat> nice try. Enemy located. Enemy reinforcements spotted. Looks like it's their mobile suit team. Yes, yes. Red team. Enemy defense team has been. Listen, get the mobile suits. Aim at the enemy mobile suits. Don't even look Bl at the other. Blue team. One of these. Oh. Uh. Federation command vehicle destroyed. <coughs> Enemies in a state of chaos. All right, each team, pay attention. Do not let this opportunity pass us by. Go after them. Don't stray too far. The boys. Battle pursuit. Eliminating targets. They aren't uh, attacking us. That's good. Enemy located. Agar here. We cannot continue. We'll try to escape. No escape, boy. Power plant is up. Functions of the base facilities will be restored shortly. Well, one gun cannon escaped. Oh, there it is. Oh! Ouch! Oh! I'll draw his fire, boys! Get him!
I guess at that time I probably should have just uh, ran up to him and chopped him. I guess. The only blue team could actually, you know, uh, attack. Ooh. Anything? Okay. No, you're not going back. You got a job to do. You're the only one left, Hepner. I'm gonna get a terrible grade for this, but this time you will succeed. It's just one gun cannon at half health, 33% health even. You can't fail this time. I won't allow it. Not that I think a machine gun can actually hurt it. But, uh... My sacrifice... I'll sacrifice the boys and run up and chop it. I will not fail. I cannot fail. Alright, boys. Get them. Is he out of ammo? What's going on? <laughs> yeah! Chop him down! <laughs> Enemy retreat confirmed. We won! Alright, that concludes the operation. Stand guard until reinforcements arrive. Of course, it came down to my reserve troops. The blue boys managed to take down the enemy command module, and uh, it was a uh, combined effort taking down the gun cannon. And the enemy Agar. attempting to lay siege to our base has retreated upon losing their chain of command. We have proven the tactical significance of our unit. However, we only stopped a fraction of the enemy's massive forces. The severe battle between Xeon and the Federation forces had escalated further into the Gobi Desert, and our units were separated. Having lost contact with the main forces and cut off from supplies, the lost troops wandered the sand dunes helplessly. The desert has swallowed up our footprints, and with them, the ominous reminder of our war. Huh. Well, let's see, we uh, did kill a lot of enemies. Oh, I still got an A. Thanks to all those special bonuses, like taking down Agar. I don't think that it's necessarily 100% uh, you're going to be able to beat Agar before he retreats. Uh, so I think, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Or they just assume you're going to lose. Following the completion of our operation in the Gobi, we hurried to gather at Odessa. I mean, the gun cannon does one shot a Zaku 2, and nearly one hits the Zaku 1 with reinforced armor. So, yeah. We took a break in transit, but we had no time to enjoy the magnificent sunrise in Odessa as we received a transmission from regional headquarters. Here are your orders from Captain Makuve. Your team will monitor and gather data on the Trojan horse now moving within Xeon controlled airspace. Uh -huh. We have completed our analysis and come up with a projected route of the Trojan horse. As you know, the captain hates to waste any of our forces unnecessarily. Our mining bases have been damaged by the Trojan horse's campaign. Let's avoid further casualties now that the Federation forces are assembling their troops in the Odessa region. This concludes Captain Mukuve's report. Try not to hurt yourselves. Over. What a nice guy. A new MS? A new simulator program? What is it? What is the program? Trial attack. Uh, do I remember what this one is? I think it's like a time trial where you need to do basically that mission, but within like three minutes. But Agar doesn't show up. I think that's the difference. It's something like that. Like you have five minutes, maybe. It's a, I, I, I need to see. Try you the deck. Trial attack. Oh boy. Oh, Rambaral? 
Who? What? Who? Oh. Uh, so I have two teams with which to take on Rambaral. Rambaral being one of the great Xeon pilots. Uh, let's see what new thing I get. Oh, I have three teams. No, I don't. What? I have two teams. I got confused. I saw the space and immediately thought, ah, three teams. So now, Rohers can congratulate to the goof. Hey! Pre-MP improved ground Zaku. This is basically the goof prototype. And he has the machine gun or rifle. And what new goodies does he have? Why, cloaks, which block certain uh, radar sources. More smoke grenades. More scopes. No, radar number two. Sure. And Hepner can now boost her radar. Just like her friend, Rower. She's just a mini Rower now. Alright. And Rambaral famously uses a goof, so, uh, let's see how this goes. It's a fair, calm noon day. Lots of Manovsky particles. It's gonna be rough. It's going to be rough. Let's get it on. Our goal will be to try to pincer Rambaral before he kills us. He does have a full-on goof, and we're using the prototype, so... Yeah. Commence simulation. Roger. Roger. Are you ready? Let's go! You're ready! Summer is oddly still very usable. So there's Rambaral plus some people. One red guy going this way. Uh, red team. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Way more cans than I thought there'd be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Wow. I completely forgot about the cannons. I thought this was just a simple, oh, catch their team walking back and forth. But no, no. Oh, no, no. Commence simulation. Roger. 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 Are you ready? Let's go! I do have shields. So, red team got, like, destroyed by Ramba Rall, and then blue team got destroyed by all the cannons. Uh... Hmm.
stay here. Stay here, do you not understand? I see. It's him and his, the boys. Let's see if we can't snipe some things. Ow. You have a shot? Take it. Oh. Oh, that's the Rumber All special. Oh my gosh. My boy shot him right in the head. End simulation. The boys are too strong. Mm, not bad. You're almost there. Hmm, not bad. Wow. Uh well, I, wow. Um I yeah. I'll take a C. I'll take a C. Listen, I'm not trying to perfect anything here, all right? Uh, you don't really get anything, as far as I remember, for doing things very well in the programs. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Uh, but I don't remember. And I don't think I ever did perfect everything. I perfected a lot of them. I got S's on a lot of these. Back in my day. But at this point, I'm just accepting a victory. Now, I think what's supposed to happen, again, like I said, you're supposed to kind of pinch them. Both teams attacking from each side, however, they have a lot of defensive in, uh, emplacements. And in case you couldn't figure out what was going on, Ramba Rall, uh, famously, has a um, gear where he shoots a cable at you that shocks you, prevents you from using your weapon. Um, and then he has a... Uh, what is it, Falcon thing? Basically, it's a, it's a gun that looks like his hand, <laughs> and it shoots out of his fingers. He's cool. Uh, he's very cool. He's a very cool guy. Uh, a father to his men. Credit to the team. Rambo Uh But we're moving on. Next time. Um, more desert fun, I guess. See you then.